What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to look at the difference between an entry level, a mid level, and a senior level data analyst. Now, as you make your way up from an entry level data analyst all the way up to a senior level data analyst, there are several things that are gonna change. So we're gonna take a look at several different categories, things like your responsibilities, all the way up to the salary and your skills. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump on my screen and take a look. The first thing that we're gonna take a look at is the responsibilities between an entry, mid, and senior level data analyst. Let's start off with the entry level data analyst. An entry level data analyst is gonna be responsible for collecting and organizing the data, basic analysis under supervision, creating reports and visualizations, and assisting with data cleaning. If we take a look at the mid-level, they're going to be managing small projects, creating and maintaining reports and visualizations, collaborating with other departments on their data needs, training new data analysts like the entry-level data analyst, and then creating processes and procedures for existing projects. You can see the responsibilities have already increased. They're taking on their own projects. They're mentoring the entry-level data analysts. And now let's take a look at the senior level. So for a senior level data analyst, they're going to be leading large data initiatives. They're going to be developing strategies for data collection and analysis. They're also going to be working with management on these projects. So they'll be working with managers, senior managers, directors, or even C-level on these projects. They'll also be recommending opportunities and use cases for the business to actually use. And they'll be mentoring the entry and the mid-level analysts. And so at the entry level, you're working on basic projects, basic analysis. You're really just learning things. And so over time, you're going to transition into a mid-level where you take on more responsibility, more projects, and then all the way up to a senior where you're leading these initiatives. Now let's take a look at the technical skills needed at each level. For an entry-level analyst just starting out, you should at least know things like Excel, SQL, and some type of BI tool like Tableau or Power BI. For most entry-level roles, they're just wanting you to know the basics and make sure that you're trainable and that you can learn more and that you want to learn more. At the mid-level, you're going to need to know Excel, SQL, a BI tool, just like an entry-level, but you'll also want to know maybe a programming language as well like R and Python, and also a cloud platform like AWS and Azure, and you'll need to know some concepts a lot better that you should be learning when you are an entry-level analyst that you definitely should know as a mid-level analyst like data cleaning and data manipulation. I might even toss a little bit of data modeling in there, but that's more at the senior level because it is a little bit more of an advanced concept. For these, you should have a really solid foundation. At the entry level, you're just learning, but when you're a mid-level, you should definitely know these skills quite well. Now let's take a look at senior level, and you'll notice that these look very, very similar, except I added two extra concepts in here, that is data modeling and data forecasting. For all these skills, you should know them really, really well because you've hopefully been using them for many years at this point. You'll also know how to use all these skills together and how they all connect, as well as how you can use them when you're working with other departments or other team members like data scientists and data engineers. Next, let's take a look at the education. Now, for all three of these, and I'm just gonna put them all up here at the same time, for an entry level, usually they're just looking for a bachelor's degree. Now at the mid-level and the senior level, they may look for things like a master's degree or a PhD at the senior level, but honestly, although that is something that they may look for, they usually are more interested in your years of experience. And not just your years of experience, but your expertise in a specific domain. Now, just as a side note, you don't absolutely even have to have a degree. I know a lot of data analysts that transferred over from doing something completely different. They just have the technical skills or the domain knowledge that a company was looking for. But if you are looking for a specific degree, here are some popular degrees within data analytics. Ones like statistics, mathematics, economics, computer science, business analytics, and and information systems. Next, let's take a look at some job titles that you'll see for entry, mid, and senior level analysts. At entry level, you'll see job titles like junior data analyst, entry data analyst, data analyst one, or sometimes it's data analyst four, which is the lowest level. At some companies, it's one is the lowest, four is the lowest at others, just depends on that company. And then lastly, an associate analyst. At the mid-level, you'll see job titles like data analyst, or maybe data analyst two or three, and then maybe even a quantitative analyst. At the senior level, you'll see job titles like Senior Data Analyst, Lead Analyst, Data Analyst 4, or a Technical Analyst. Now, one thing to note is that these are data analyst specific job titles. If you are job hunting, you may look at other job titles as well. Ones like a Business Analyst or a Financial Analyst, Marketing Analyst, Healthcare Analyst, there are a lot out there. The last thing that we're gonna take a look at is the pay, because of course, as you go from entry level all the way up to a senior level, you should be expecting more money. 
So for an entry-level analyst, you're looking at anywhere from fifty dollars to $75,000. For a mid-level, anywhere from seventy dollars to $90,000. And for a senior level, anywhere from eighty dollars to $120,000. Now these are just averages, so of course it depends on where you live, your years of experience, your education, and other factors as well. But in general, these numbers are quite accurate. So that is the difference between an entry-level, a mid-level, and a senior-level data analyst. I made my way through all of those, and I found almost all of those things to be pretty accurate. And so I hope that that was really helpful and you understand the different levels of a data analyst. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.